deck. Hercules is away. Roger. And Hercules is past the transom. Roger. Tether is all out. Roger. And just to let you know, Hercules is tracking a little bit to starboard of the center A-frame. Roger. Van Deck, Atalanta's in the water. Roger. Yeah. This is an audio slate for dive H1978. UTC time is 1 hour, 18 minutes, and 30 seconds. Mark? Good to go to dive, Salvo. Yes, presets. No, not camera. Not camera. Preset. Camera one. Preset number. <laughs> you can put it on your phone. <laughs> uh, that's not good.
Why is the iris so blown out on the uh, bubble cam? Oh, I'm saying the iris is kind of blown out on the bubble cam. Let's see if I can. There we go. Yep. Yes. Are we doing a transect? No, no uh, vertical transect. Um, clue, comma, less. Pedal insulates coming on. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, hooks lights all on? Yeah. I think so. Hey, I, our team, is this a good time to ask for the CTD? CTD should already be on. Is it not? Thank you. We'll have a look. Yeah, I turned it on straight away. I'm going to get that cast from the first five meters or so. I turned it on while we're on the surface. The depth here is not 2-1. Looks like 4 on the craft. The depth here is allegedly 9-8-4. 9-8-4. Should be... Nine three one, no. Nine three one. Oh. Yeah. Nine three one. It's a good thing. Saved us from crashing into the seabed. Blazing speed of thirty meters a minute. If I can find my autopilot, yes. Uh, the autopilot stowage location is. Ah. Van back deck. I'll stop at seven five. Sending control. Roger. Thank you. Um, I'm only doing, here, let me speed up a bit. Coming down at 30 meters a minute, you want? Uh, no, I'm doing like, not a lot of right now. Let's see what we can get here. I was full forward there in the first 50 meters just to keep it stretched tight. Full forward and full down. That way I don't have to worry about it. Okay. Um, you can set it at 20 for now. Yeah, 22, that'll do. Oops. Slowly creeping up. Hopefully at least 25. Is the craft disabled? No, oh, you can light it up. Okay. Sure. Do a couple stretches. Oh my god, she's loud. Yeah, want me to boobly you? Yeah, we'll booble it. Uh, preset. Oh. Three? Bang. See if it does pan left. Runs away. <laughs> yep. Just gotta bump it. That is, that's a bump. favor and put the shoulder all the way down for a minute. Shoulders all the way down. I'll leave it there for a second. Go to your alarm page. 
page. Are we getting an update? How much of my utility? Utility, utility. Just updated. Loaded, no change. Yep, another update, no change. Right. That's thirty on. Yeah. You can leave it uh, energized though. Close the jaws. Leave the hydraulics on, Danny. Okay. It's good to have them on on the way down. Is that target? Oh yeah, yeah. Put Atalanta over that target, if you please. I could share on the fly trigonometry. Gotta like it. So we moved, we probably could have stopped a little sooner, but average 50 meters on a launch, is that like normal, where we stream. Ooh, we're up to 700 Ks. Arbitrary ghost number. <laughs> I wonder if I can change the any file to read when it drops below K's. As long as you got K's, we're good. That's a question for Master Jake. Dive, dive, dive. Rocketing down. Uh, target depth is 931 meters. Something, something like that. What you got written into the calculator. That's what our top scientists inform me. 18 minutes to the bottom. I don't have a dive plan in front of me. What's our first order of business when we get down there? Deployment ADCP at Axis, and then um, after that, we are going to recover uh, ADCP at Axis, and then after that, we're going to do push core samples at the Axis. I'm going to name you all the objectives that I see in front of me. I I forgot after the first one. <laughs> <laughs> like you confused me now. I had the first one and then I lost it. <laughs> Is it the ADCP acoustic? Like be getting in a in a taxi and tell them first I want to go to Seven Eleven, then I want to go to Walmart, <laughs> then I want to go to. Okay, I got the Seven Eleven part. 
That's all we need to worry about, to be honest. <laughs> One step at a time. So what were we doing first? Complete deployment of the aquatic bongo, as Dave likes to call it. Aquatic. Bongo. Aquatic. I think we're doing the transect first, yeah? Yeah, the one, two, three, four, five, those bullet points on the objectives, they're not quite in order. So the first thing we're going to be doing the transects, the no, so horizontal it's not just me. transect. But we will get to the ADCP eventually. Horizontal transect first, Roger. Sure, you don't want to do some tick well, boxes cor first? Coral cliffs, video surveys, horizontal transects, that stuff. Ooh, coral cliffs. Sounds fun. Yeah. What is the number dive plan you have? Am I on the wrong one? Um, one this nine is seven 1978 Barclay Axis Part B. Okay, thank you. You're on the right one? Yes, I do have the right one. Yeah, those are not, the objectives are not in a particular order. That's like me and my chores on a Saturday weekend. <laughs> yeah, that way if you get them done, you just, yeah, you know, no priority. Just, mm -hmm. yeah. just got to get it done by the yeah, time. Yeah, just done. Good. Too bad the dolphins didn't join us on this. Yeah, I, I missed it this morning, unfortunately. I didn't see them at all, all day. They kind of like uh, went away after maybe 10 a.m. ish. I think that was around the, the right time, yeah. Yeah. But I know our documentarian, is that what you're called? That is my secondary job right now, yes. Documentarian yep. Jake. Got some good photos? I did my best. Hey, hey. Yeah, I heard it was two types of dolphins. Mm -hmm. Not just one. One I've never seen before. I've seen the white-sided. You see them frequently. Never in the ROV, like this morning. But apparently they're right. What was the other one? They're false right whale dolphin? I have no idea. I am not a biologist. But it looked like a dolphin without a dorsal fin and, and was black. Black, yeah. That's a southern right, false northern right whale dolphin or something. Wow. Yeah, it's a mouthful. And then there was that big old container ship way down yonder. Did you guys see that? I didn't see anything. That was it. <clears throat> I woke up at 11 o'clock, so mm. I missed all the action this morning. Every you time I see a ship, I'm like, ah, people. <laughs> <laughs> that ship gave me the vibe that it was like a garage full of cars moving through the ocean. Have you seen the, uh, the car carriers? They have those big, um, the big ramps on the ramps sides. Yeah. So one of their, on one of the sides, I don't know. I've seen them on. The, I don't know if they're on both, but they'll be, the stern of the vessel is kind of like cut at like a 45, mm -hmm. and then there's a ramp that comes yeah. down. Yeah. It looks. It's almost like the craft arm to a certain degree, because I feel like the ones that I've seen, they one function. They close, and then they open for the cars to get. Yeah off and on and then it's like closed <laughs> i have some friends that work on ships like that and they send me videos of the inside of those ships it is insane brand new cars in all directions yeah the technical term for those are roll 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 yes. on roll off roll on roll off i remember learning about that Roll, roll. Roll, roll, ships. Oh, what is that funny fish? That skinny one. Up in Atlantis, really it had to look like a knife fish or something. I've been really curious about the translucent organisms that come across the cameras. The jellyfish? Yeah, this jellyfish. Do I they know, I sting? Know. I don't know. We get a few different kinds in coastal BC, but I don't know if they sting. I don't think so. I've never been stung by one. I think your mic is on. I can hear every single movement you're making. <laughs> there we go. 
Thank oh, there's you. A, there's a real fish back there. A couple of actual fish. Not just plankton looking ones. But actually, a swimming <coughs> vertical. <coughs> I hope in the new either Finding Nemo or Dory or maybe the Happy Feet movies, they can put ROVs into them. Are they making new, all of those movies? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are they making new versions of all of those movies? No, but I feel like within the last five years, they've made a, another movie of both of okay. those things. Because there's uh, a Finding Dory. Yes, there is. Which is like part two of Finding yeah, Nemo? Yeah, I thought I had missed some major announcements. <laughs> Maybe this is me hinting to the world. <laughs> Make me another one and throw in Hercules and uh, uh, Atalanta for us. And maybe Wally. Wally can get a little guest appearance. I think you guys can leave my childhood alone. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> You have merely adopted the dark. I was born <laughs> into it. What is the... I'm going to find my answer here first. I'll try to look for it. Okay. Depth is 931. Seems right. Cool. That's so we've got about four. Yeah, we're past halfway there. Yeah. Halfway. Is that kind of like how we are on this like expedition? Pardon? What was the question? We're like halfway through the expedition too. Or are we? My uh, gauge on time is so morphed. I don't know. What is the date today? The 6th? From the 25th to the 6th? It is the 6th. I think yes. we're getting close. Close to halfway? I'm not sure. I think we're, I think it's close to the halfway today. Yeah. My well, jacket just fell over. Yeah, it's the... So we get back in port when the eighteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, I believe. Eighteenth, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't think we're halfway yet. We got twelve days to go. Mm -hmm. We've made it. Essentially, eleven days or twelve days. Yeah. Yeah, Half Sunday's way. two weeks. Yeah. Mm. Is today okay. Thursday? I, it is Friday. Thursday today. I think. <laughs> Thursday, oh yeah. So we're pretty close. I can't believe it's Thursday. I also couldn't believe that it was July and no longer June anymore. I know. That was I've, I've heard the saying that on the ship every day is Tuesday. <laughs> because we didn't just get here, so it's not Monday. And we're not about to leave, so it's not Friday. Mm. It's solidly Tuesday. Hey, Fabio. Welcome. This has been a very, fairly, very interesting descent. A, a lot of stuff in the column. <coughs> There's been some strange fish too. Like, what kind of fish do you think this is? See that little black one? Uh, really small tail, really long, black. They've come around. Um, Yes. Yes. Um, ROV team is doing some tinkering over there. Doing some high tech things that I do not know. Mm. Uh, 
Uh, Fabio, are you okay with this white balance for the camera? The white balance on here, are you happy with this? For the stills? Yeah, but for the trying to snap pictures here. Yeah, and I think once we get down there, we'll do the arm and check it all. What are you looking for? Oh, it's because you're on blue. There you go. I made the same. Mic check. You can hear me? He's on, uh, he's on mute. Oh, you're on mute. Yeah. Yeah. I was listening to some elevator music. Mm. On the blue. <laughs> Blue radio? Is that what Blue radio, I don't know. So Fabio, have we explored these cliffs before or is this the first time we're going down on these cliffs? No, we had explored very little, but we have in the past last year Rebel on the Tully, and I think it was the Odysseus, Odysseus uh, ROV. Yeah, we explored. We did a few visual surveys more south from from the hydrate site. That's a site where we had visited in 2013. We deployed some autonomous uh, more uh, ADCPs there. Okay. And so we revisited. Now we're going to explore a completely different location. So we have not been to these cliffs, like, and they look particularly steep compared to the cliffs where we saw the corals before. So do you expect that we're going to see corals on this dive? Yeah, well, the, even if we don't see a lot, we hope to see a lot of corals and anemones and um, sea pans on these cliffs, but if not, when we get to the top of the canyon rim, right, those, the edge of another cliff, let's say, we're gonna transit north and we hope to to see some at this, at the edge of the cliff, of the canyon rim. What? That's what? normally where the currents are throwing lots, lots of nutrients and particles in suspension. So why would the corals be on the cliffs? Just because it's a better place for them to anchor to, or what's the deal with the cliffs and not? Yeah, they're sessile uh, organisms. So they, they need, need an attachment point, so it's hard substrates are often... Well, it's not true for all the deep sea corals. Some some corals can uh, can occur in soft sediments, and, but still it's like a very common that they they use this in the hard substrates too. So this could be a very exciting dive with the uh, very steep cliffs we're going to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I believe they go. What's it goes from 900 meters, 930 meters all the way up to 770. 770. Yeah. So we at the top of the the canyon rim. We hope to to navigate north around the isobat of and 770. I'm, and I'm looking at the ship size on our map here. So it goes up about 200 meters in a matter of 100 meters. This is pretty steep. Or yeah, less. it's very steep. Let's see how hurt. Yeah, like some of those 200 meters goes up and maybe in about 60 meters worth of uh, horizontal distance. So this could be very exciting. Yeah. Yeah, B? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Part B, yeah. Hello. Can I ask a question to everybody? Sure. Okie dokie. Please introduce yourself and tell me. Well, I had a question, but I forgot what it was now. 
Um. <laughs> oh, that's just more of a ask. Just stick to it. Um, introduce yourself and tell me the most interesting part about your job. Ooh. That question was inspired from my interaction with Fabio today. Yeah, is that what, what the question was? Yeah. Yeah. From the student. In Maybe Brazil. Fabio should go, for, should go first because he was Ooh. he's already um, been warmed up since we answered that question with the kids. Try and make your um, answer about two minutes, Fabio, which means we'd be at the bottom, so we'd be <laughs> out of time. <laughs> No, it'll be 20 seconds. <laughs> uh, That's too long. Too uh, the nicest part about this job is to explore new areas in the deep ocean. And it's incredible how we can um, do our, in those expeditions, we can do our maintenance of our observatory. And at the same time, we do a lot of different uh, exciting research uh, experiments and, and projects. And here we are. We're gonna dive in a place that we've never been before in Barclay Canyon. Even even though we we've been here for 14 years, coming to the the site to maintain the observatory, we're gonna explore uh, areas that haven't been explored before. So that's that's the great part of the job. One of the greatest. It's much say. faster than what you should have gone. You should have really. Third, it it's your out. turn. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, my favorite, I'm a mechanical engineer and I work with the field operations team and uh, our job is to plan field operations for small observatories and for the large observatories. So the cool part about that is similar to what Fabio is saying, he's a scientist, but... Okay, Herc's got an altitude. So ex we get to go small oh, ops, special ops in the Arctic, uh, northern BC, um, it's you all can kinds of coastal manual. communities. And, uh, since we're all engineers, we're also designing platforms and... They solve the problems. We bring the problems. They yeah. solve all of them. There we go. Yeah. That's really cool. Problem you get solvers. to see a lot of stuff. A lot of field work, a lot of office work, so it's a good balance. That's what I like most about it. Thank you for sharing. And we are now 30-ish meters from the bottom? 24 meters from the bottom. 24 meters. We have sonar targets. We have Doppler beams. Fabio, do you want to view this, or can I change it to? I don't know how to change it. Never mind. What do you want to change to? Mm, I actually want to look at the sonar that they're looking at. You're not going to see much on the sonar. Oh, you can, you can put whatever. This is you want usually, when I take stick lock off, so I don't. It, oh, crash that's a cool fish. Bottom. What's that, Fabio? It's like a shark. It looks like a shark. It's a shark. Swims like a shark, but no, it's probably a table. F are we in the bottom? It's very small or very far. No, we're not in the bottom yet. Oh, you so can, that uh, could, could be a shark. Could be a shark. Swims come on, like stop on well. Argus and spin around there. Or actually, come down, uh, I don't know, come down five meters. Mm. Uh oh, what's this? I was trying to bring our delta Ooh. down. Uh, Fabio, what, is the, what are these two settings? I don't know if I... There's I the bottom. Then you cannot use the autofocus anymore. Squishy looking bottom. Yeah, we can. Okay, there we go. So we're good? Yeah, it's taking pictures. JPEG and RAW. I'm nice. so loud in my ear. I don't you know should go to does. not standard. Go to high. We're allowed to go to max res. X5. X okay, fine. I'll stop on the winch. And large size. Uh, for the which image. direction you want me Where to head? You find a large size here. Click on M. Um, yep. M is medium. Six is up to the other. Turn around. Oh yeah, we messed this up before. Eh? To the uh, west of the other. Okay. Okay. We are on bottom. So we go uh, right here. Bring the map around for a. Uh, yeah, we can confirm security. that with the navigator, but that's where we should be. Stand by there, back row. We got some. Housekeeping to do here while we're at the bottom, so. Oh yeah, well, we take your time. I can do that, Danny. Get the manip out. I'm good. I'm uh, where we need to be. Manip's coming out. You have to enable thrusters for that works. I can't hear you, but yes, if you're wanting to redo the DVL, knock yourself out. Yep. 
Looks right, right, Fabio? Yeah. yeah. I that think that point A balance? is where we want to start. Point B yeah. is where we're going. Is that yeah. a good or you want more of A? Yeah. Me. Yeah, I don't think we got I think we got it right. Bottom to top of cliff. Depth seems our depth right now on the RV is uh, 919. It's pretty close. Can you move me over just a touch? It's like 10 meters off. You guys what are that? Um, this one was weigh in as possible. Dan? Uh, I can move the arm. Okay. That's good. Yeah, right there should be perfect. Thank you. All right, camera's going to go dark for a couple frames. Just uh, that is intentional. Roger. Look at those gauges. Good. All on the black mark. All right, white balance complete. Pulling wide. Roger. Okay, Danny, you can park it and turn that. Uh You want me to secure the craft? Yeah. Shoulder all the way up. I think so. Nope. And close the butt. Close the jaws. And kill it there. Push in just a little bit there, Jake. Roger or, that. Um, yep. Why am I calling you Jake? Sorry. Oh, Jacob. Jake, Jake Jacob. Just call him video. Okay. Are those thorny head? They look like. Yeah. Almost, yeah. almost there. Sorry, give me a few seconds here. Why is that not? Sebastolobas. What? I know the name of the fish. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, sorry, give me a second here. Something weird happening. Oh, can you turn and go to Herc Hydraulics and turn off the suction pump? Hydraulics, yeah, pump bash, zero. bash all those to zero for me. Yep. Um, for some reason, the encoder over here was set to suction pump. Is our next waypoint, is it? Um, yeah, so we're going to start at A and move to B. Uh, this close enough for you guys, back row? Um, yeah, Fabio, could you give them the requirements for uh, the transect <coughs> or for the survey? But is this close enough to the waypoint where, you know? Oh. Um, 20 meters from it. Yeah, that's right. It's okay. Yeah. How depth, how much depth we gain? Just, is that 5 meter? But that's it now. ROV is at 922. So a I'm not quite set up yet, but yeah. I'm familiar with video transect. So, C pen, or is that already a coral? Yeah, so like other. Let me know and I can chat with you. Yeah, I'm listening. Uh, well, n regular altitude for now. We're going to start climbing up, but try to be as close as possible. A meter to an, uh, one and a half meter. Yeah. Bottom. 
Or from the wall? <laughs> Pretty soon. Oh yeah, I will definitely be close to the wall. And half knot, maybe we're gonna... Half a knot will be too fast, we'll be at 0.3. That'll be better, even better. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we can't go half a knot up a wall. I can, you won't see anything because, uh, yeah. These chainsaws are fairly short. We can go slow, right, Fabio? Yeah, Slower yeah, is yeah. better. Uh, Roger. of sea cucumbers. And uh, Fabio, are we allowed to stop and smell the flowers or is this a keep moving transect? Um, at the end of the third uh, planned transect, we might look for some, some corals to sample. Roger. Okay. Okay, are we ready to get started? Yeah, you can move towards the waypoint at point three. Okay. Back row, are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. What do you want your dog to stay out? Okay. Ready. Bridge, nav. Uh, 35 Can we move five zero meters west, please? Thank you. So the altitude is going to look a little different on your screen back there than it actually is. Um, I just came down till I touched there, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, That's saying 1.9. because we're on a hill and the yeah. altitude is red from the back of the vehicle. Yeah, yeah. Let's drop down, uh, you can come down uh, seven meters. Uh, and you can look down a little so I can see the tether. I can do that. Are you happy with this? No, video is pretty good. Pretty good. We could be a little looser on the tether uh, once we get the whole mess moving. Yeah, that's good for now. Let me get it stretched out a bit. Once we get the whole mess moving, uh, the more um, the lower you are, the less there. telegraphy I, you know, it'll be, and the more I can stay right on the deck. about 40 meters it should start getting steep so I'm gonna try and get out in front of Atalanta a little bit here that would be too low that's what I did not want to do every time I see something I take a picture 
it's gonna exactly. really be annoying. Oh, the, hmm? the monitor is doing that thing. Yeah, that's it's okay. It's still taking the picture. That's what happens when you try and use your autos. Looking into a hill. <laughs> that's gonna suck. <laughs> so you can see in the uh, in the brow camera there when I got a little too low. <laughs> Collecting some mud for us. Picked up a little ballast there. There's a lot of these little rock fishes. Yeah, they're rock fishes. They're red yeah. ones. Fabio. Um, <coughs> If you if we do see something like a coral or something interesting, do they want them to hang out so we can get a still of it, or do you want um, them to keep moving at a regular pace? Perhaps at the at the the vertical. I got too much sea bias. In. At the okay. vertical part of the transect, we're yeah, li much likely, more likely to see it. different stuff than we normally see. Yeah, because I don't know moving with moving this fast. I'm uh, I'm trying, but I don't know how good the pictures might be. I can hear a football coach in the back of my brain saying, try harder. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, as hard nice as I one. can try. <laughs> Just clicking. And then the mom in me is like, you're doing a great job, Dirk. Keep keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> Dirk is a rugby guy, so he doesn't understand that. Football. Yeah, <laughs> it's totally different. <laughs> Touch football. I played touch. Touch for what? A little tournament like touch rugby. Oh, that's sweet. That's fun, eh? I like full on the two days following that. Some, uh, I was 50 meter moves if you so want dead. Minute. Yeah, that's um, <laughs> in the summertime we try to play like I don't know oh, that's three what times you're a doing? week, and then the winter once a week. When I was just in Hawaii, I was messaging all the islands, seeing like who's got rugby on. Like, uh -huh. Hopefully, to just jump in on it, some touch uh -huh. rugby, and unfortunately, it didn't work out. I know there was a part of me that wanted to like look for people to play touch with or like just so that when I go back and play again I'm not as weak as I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Victoria's got a lot of touch rugby in the summer. You can play like almost every day of the week by drop in. Mm. You can uh, home the DVL if you want there. I stuffed it earlier. Did you guys see that Dave got to play soccer with a bunch of penguins in the Arctic? Oh. Uh, I bet he didn't play f frisbee <laughs> <laughs> with penguins. <laughs> I, did, I did play frisbee with penguins, I have proof. <laughs> when we were in Palmer Station. Oh, yeah. you're up there. Well, actually, it was not Palmer Station, it was a Coppa, Coppa Station. So we're at the bottom of a canyon, and we're just kind of like going up the slope of it? Yeah, we're going off this wall, one of the <coughs> southwest walls of the, of the canyon. So it might be, might be seeing some rocks or a very steep, almost vertical wall. You see a lot of rockfish here, interior. Canyons are very productive environments they accumulate organic matter and so a lot of the fish thrive here and out of the canyon we have a fishery for this uh, resources for rockfish so it's almost like they are protected from the fishery in inside the canyon the walls of the canyon don't allow that uh, fishing gear so they don't want to get their fishing gear entangled into the rocks and stuff How so steep there's it? They're oh. so protected. They're protected. Oh my god, what is that? Look at that guy. That's a deep sea That looks soul. like a flounder. Deep sea is it soul? a deep sea? Deep sea. Look. Oh, like oh, a yeah, coral. Look at there. There you go. Start it. How, steep is, the, um, how steep is the wall? We're okay. getting there. There we are. How steep is the wall? I it, have uh, no idea. It's going to raise over butts. a ship length. I think it's going to come up like 100 <coughs> meters or something. 100 meter wall here? I think so. Roger. That's my guess at it. It's very steep. Some sponges. It's, this it's is getting interesting. Do you want no. pictures of this? 
Fabio? Or? Oh, no. <laughs> should, I, should we change seats? <laughs> Can you reduce the range on that sonar to 10 meters, please? I can't believe I stuffed it. I should know better. I forgot to take note what time we started. So 7 o'clock or 10. So, yeah, uh, Ricky recorded it, I think. So 2.05 UTC. 2.05 UTC. 705. PD but we're not PDT. doing photogrammetry here. Fabio, I don't need to no. take pictures every second. No, no. Okay. Only, if you see like Only every other second. Yeah. Okay, well, that's better. Set your finger and turbolometer to <laughs> three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> they won't be very good pictures at this speed. I'll be. Yeah, yeah. I should crank it, you know. Yeah, the, sh sh I s the um, shutter speed is 1 over 60. It'll be blurry. Mm -hmm. Pardon? They'll pro they might, I don't know, you might look at a few, tweak your settings, they might be blurry. We're moving pretty fast here yeah. up the wall. It's a Le um, Fabio, if you want a specific picture, just tell them to slow down. Because I don't know. I mean, this is, um, again, we are starting to catalog this species. So far, we've seen what we saw last year. If we see some bright, different species that we never saw. This is Chrysogorgia. There's a little green one. Chrysogorgia. These are black corals, even though they're white. They're called black corals. Soft, Someone was sorely confused when naming this. Stop her up here uh. for a minute on it. That's one of the bubblegum coral there. Not sure how it's long like how steep it's going to be here. Dan, the um, higher shutter speed is going to be better pictures, right? Uh, I don't know. I'm no shutter bug. Uh, I would think they, so. They should have less motion blur, but um, maybe dimmer depending on how high you go. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Sponge. Should oh, ask rock. one of the experts. I wouldn't classify myself as an expert. That's the bubblegum coral that we're... Bubblegum coral. We'll eventually try to sample one at the end. Oh, look. Just gonna play with the lights there for a second. So I do that. Ooh, that move. Better. That's better. Definitely more contrast. Yeah. Hello there. Nice to meet you too. James just over here dusting entire ecosystems. Fertilizer. <laughs> From the bottom. Shake, shake, shake. That's a nice. <laughs> <Not> a <laughs> We're going to pay for that later. Is that another yeah. bubblegum coral? Or yeah. is that uh, bamboo? Yes, it looks like we are talking about, we aren't sure about this species. It could be Ciboga gorgia, Cauliflora, or Paragorgia camezi. Man, this is a quite the cliff. The, the um, still cam really gives you a good view of the drop off. Yeah. Straight down. And yeah, the bubble cam too, I guess. There's not a lot of density here. On the next transect, we hope to go along the the ridge line, or the, the rim of the canyon. It's pretty so steep though. Maybe a little too steep. Hope to see more. Okay, I think you can kick her into gear again. Looks like it's flattening it's out fish. there. See the tro bottom trawlers, they cannot drag, drag
drag their nets here, right? Of course. Right. Yeah. And then see the fish kind of use this little hiding places. Whoa. I like that cleaning method you got going on there. <laughs> Sponge. That's a cool it's ridiculous. One. <laughs> It's something. It's working shockingly <coughs> well. <laughs> Trying not to bump it out into the camera, obviously. We're really going to pay for it when we want to stop and look at something. So. Mm. Looks like we're coming in close to this wall. Yeah, I'm trying to stay about two and a half meters away from it. So it flattened out there, there, so. Mm. <coughs> what is that fish called give again? Me, uh, uh, give me a little tether I there, Denny. Soul. soul. He's on our guide, I believe. And, uh, uh, there. Here, actually. Rex Soul, Pacific. Just your head. Deep sea soul, this one here. Yeah. Herc. It might be even older. Those ones look prettier than that picture. <laughs> Holy call, but We can soon update our picture. Oh, yes. We can put photo credit in Dirk. Oh, Fabio. Microstomus? No, this is not the Dover soul. The next one. Embasictis. We can, uh, we can hold it closer Pardon? to 30 there. You saw it bouncing there? Yeah. Yeah. So we got two this is the upward one, the coral cliffs. Too far away. Is a good squid picture for you. Cool. We have that on our. Is it hunting? Oh, yeah. Cool. Sea pen. Two sea pens. Come down a bit more, actually. So we're looking into this corals. Uh, we had a collaborator come last year, Claudio Loyacono from Barcelona, Institute of Marine Science in Barcelona. He was a researcher in residence with ONC. That's good for now. And we're studying the effect of internal tides uh, breaking to so the walls the of the, the canyon. Feather. It brings nutrients and uh, sable fish. Oh, we blinded it, I think. See how it went. <laughs> um, Didn't like that. Yep. Yeah, so we're studying how these corals thrive here in a very low oxygen zone in the canyon. And we were studying the role of, uh, with our instruments from the observatory, the DCPs mostly. We're studying the breaking of internal, t internal waves and bringing nutrients to the to this environment one question for you fabio they it looks like they got these lights down here off the lower down but i'm sure i'm assuming that's so you can get better video um we can talk to video perhaps jacob i don't know what uh, was the question so i notice on the still camera it's kind of that's dark towards the rov yeah i turned those lights off i can turn them back on um, it's up yeah. to you, Fabio. Yeah, what do you no, prefer? Let's let's check it out. How it affects the. Can we Sorry, did you want them on? Yeah. yeah. Can we try them back on? Yeah, you get better still cam, but it blows out the uh, main camera a little bit. Can we maybe? So it's adjust? up to you, Fabio. I can adjust it, Dad. Yeah, yeah, that's still fair. See, um, those are the down lights. So when they're on, they're shining through the HD. Video. Yeah, I see. Um, I think is the porch all the way in right now? Yeah, I'm playing with it though. Okay. I don't know, Fabio, whatever you prefer. No, it's good. I think the lighting is good now. So you like so it like this? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. The steel camera has to do its job too. I'm trying to get the rest of the mud off the porch.
Fabio, how would you open the um, raw files the other day? Do you want to check out some of these Come pictures up, in raw? Coming up to see. Um, yeah, well, you got to wait the there. That they are in. Can this one open up raw files? Oh, it does. It does. Bitch. Augered it. See what I can open. Do you want me to keep like a 20 meter uh, delta? Uh, when it, yeah, you're too low there. It depends on how close Atlanta is to Hercules. Yeah. So we can be on par, actually, but, you know, the steep stuff. But we want to see that nice bow in the tether there? Uh-huh. That's what I want to see. So if it's getting out of the camera too much, you know, or getting too close, too acute of a bow, that means I'm closer to you. you got to come up a bit. If it's stretching out a bit, then you can come down a bit, put more of a bow in it. Uh, we had it all kind of nice and straightened out there coming up the cliff, but then we I stopped the boat, so I didn't. The danger there is the layback. Yeah. So if we're screaming in, we got a big layback, and then there's a steep cliff. I have to come up the cliff really fast to keep ahead of Atlanta, and I didn't. I wanted to keep a good speed, so we stopped the boat, and now we've started again, so the whole mess is out of whack. I can't open them on here. You should be able to open the JPEGs. Yeah, you can open the JPEGs, yeah. yeah. But the JPEGs I I've just have less, obviously, less information on them. The raw pictures were more... Yeah, I don't think you can open the raw with the regular... Yeah, no, I don't think so. I, I think thing. it's computer-dependent. You one were able I to do that. I was able to do on that one because that probably had the software. Yeah, I don't think this one can do it. I, I tried the other day as well. <sighs> Plowing again. Oh. Hagfish. About 10 meters from the end of this line. We're ready for step B. Is that what you're saying? Just about. So for step, step B, step? actually, we Clean kind the mud of off the RV. Huh? Is that an animal or a piece of debris? Because a piece of kelp. Yeah. Well, that's a so cool. Um, I wonder if uh, so. We have a point, a waypoint that would be the end of line number three, at the at the top of the cliff. But I wonder if we we cannot we could do it not in a straight line but going along the. The ridge line. Like you, mm -hmm. you mean staying at a constant? Yeah. Depth? I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be at the same depth, but. Okay, that's uh, end transect. Official end transect. End transect one. That was like 15 minutes. Pretty short. Where are we going now? Uh, north. North. Right. Yeah, so we want to try to stay along approximately the same contour, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Close close to the, I mean, we are not quite here. We advanced a bit west from the, you see in the matimetry map, the west from the ridge. Um, if we could perhaps go back to the ridge and then accompany that ridge line all the yeah. way to the to the farthest north point. Okay, so we want to go back east a little bit. Yes. Okay. Bridge now. Can we hold position here, please? Thank you.
back to that steep bit is where you want to go? Yeah, yeah, I think so. That was, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get there. Bridge, Nav. East in any case. Can we move three zero meters east, please? Thank Let's you. Let's go. Uh, we'll put Atlanta out on the steep side there. Yeah. Before Danny plows it into the mud there, so probably at least 50 meters. We want her out in deep water yeah. here, so 20 meters east of me now. Okay. Oh, there's a drop oh. off <laughs> it's a Come down, Danny. Any bumps they attach to? Just gonna uh, while we're waiting for the ship to move, clean the ROV off here a bit. like some serious current. That's what we want. I'm wanking it hard over here to get the mud off of it. Yeah, you watch your altitude now because you're on the yeah. you're on the uphill side of me. Mm-hmm. Is this just current we're seeing, or are we turning around? I came up in the water column to clean the vehicle up a little. We oh, okay. stuffed it in the mud, and um, we're, we have to move the ship off. So Atlanta's in deeper water. Oh, gotcha. So yeah. I'm really close to the edge of the cliff here, but I can't quite reach it. No, I was just thinking, man, that's incredible current. But I can come down another three meters. Only 17 meters off bottom. Yeah, I'm watching. Fifteen's kind of our lower sanity limit there. Uh, if you touch the mud, it's too close. And you can look uh, to the north northeast there a little too. Mm -hmm. Going to keep you a little busier now than we have been. Oh, I I remember what it's like to fly walls. On your toes the entire watch. Yeah, I just manage an Atlanta a little bit now. more to. I'll be a little more needy now. Can we have yeah. another two zero meters east, please? Thank you. Let's see if we can find something to look at while we're waiting. I mean, from here, we could go north if yeah. it makes it easier. We are going to go north from here, but I need uh, Atlanta on the east side of me in the deeper water. So it's going to take uh, a few minutes to get over there. We're moving the ship. Oh, there's a crab for you, Fabio. Crab? Yeah. 
Just above the laser. Sponge. Wow. Coral. Clamber crab. It's probably a ton of crab. Looks like a little sponge too down there. Is that a sponge? Below the crab. Yeah. Down another five, Danny. Coming down five. Sorry. What's that? I want a picture of those anemones. <laughs> Giant here, yeah. But it's hard to um, kind of balance this light. the yeah, ISO. Yeah. Right. Okay, that ship move is done. Do you want another 10 meters? Sure. Bridge now. Oh, you can start moving. Uh, how about move uh, north, east? Uh, we'll stand by. Going. You want northeast? Yeah. Split the difference. <coughs> so transect Fabio, or is this uh, opportunistic? Uh, well, we want to interior transect north, right for the, the waypoint, the end of the transect line three. That's red line there. But if we can go north here, reach the the yeah. So the we're not on transect now. No, I no, can, right I now. I can no. look around it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting so we things. can look around. Yeah. Roger that. Deep sea soul. Rockfish, sponge, eel. Is that an eel? I think that's a hagfish. Bridge nav. Hagfish. Just your heading, Danny. Keep her in can the picture, please. We move three zero meters zero two five. Thank you. They're going to be on so the heading. You can see the lasers in the still camera, too. Uh, yeah. Fabio? Uh, huh? Probably you see the lasers in the still camera? Now, yeah, that's, that's ideal. Kelp. Okay, we're starting the ship moving north now. A piece of kelp. An enemy. Who, me? You? The enemy is. <laughs> you might be on another watch. Shoot. Oh dear. Wow. What are we looking at? It looks like, uh, well, bubble gum, rizopatis. Well, those white things in the bar, I quite didn't put my finger on what they were. Maybe sponges. What time did we start the first transect, Ricky? 7.05. 7.05, okay. Oh, I think we're still good. Another hour? Huh? Another hour or so. What is that in the bubble cam with the white stuff on it? We have two hours. Yeah, yeah, so another hour ish. A little That's more. A good question. Well, we only did 25 minutes. 7.05. Oh, yeah. 7.05. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well. 
You don't want me to... <laughs> don't, don't, don't start spreading that rumor. Oh, oh, that's a cool thing. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! <laughs> explanation point, explanation point. Did you want, you want a picture of this, right? Dan, I wonder if you can zoom. Um, are we moving now? I don't know. I can, anything you want to see closer. Can, can you zoom in on this white coral there? Looks like a... The white coral. Oh, what a sponge? Sponge, thing? sponge yeah. Yeah, go ahead. I'll do that. Go ahead and Your uh, bumper's on uh, the rock. Um, so we do what we call a laser zoom, Jacob, at first. So oh, apologies. Oh, that little thing just you just little, like... Yeah. So you do that, then I can move the ROV closer. Understood. If you zoom too fast, too far, it's disorienting for me. Absolutely. Oh, there's some shrimp on the on the cracks too. Looks like. Is that a decorator crab or what's that? Uh, that's a one spider crab, no litoid crab. One, two, three, four legs. And there's some crabs in the in the rock there too. Mm. Good eyes. Looks like good eating. That's good. We can keep going. Uh, that way, you want to see there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Can we move on? Yeah. Moving on. Okay, Jacob, go right, wide, please. Pulling wide. Not full wide. But nope. Yeah, Understood. For the. Yeah, it's like an aquarium. Still finding the range of where that is. Can we have two zero meters north, please? Thank you. Thomas online can tell us what kind of rocks are those. Another hagfish. Are deep sea corals any other color besides white and pink? Yeah. <laughs> Lots of coral uh, colors. Oh, little fishy. We just Victor don't have Georgia a lot of diversity one here. One of our favorites. Purple. There's two, maybe three species here. Your favorite one is purple, Dan? Yeah. That's more sponges there. Uh, I remember seeing the yellow and green ones. Yeah. Yellow covered with zoanthids. I think it'd be pretty cool to like put rainbow like put pictures of coral but like form them in a collage with rainbows yeah. rainbow. someone in the world you can do that it'll make me happy hi fabio um Shaw is requesting that you speak a bit louder when you're talking about biology. biology. They need all the help they can get with annotating. Mm. Sorry, I didn't get that. The shorter saying? They're when asking for your microphone to be louder. Louder? Put it right by your mouth. <laughs> How about that? It's <laughs> better. A little better. Better? Gotta go. A little better. Volume up. What is that thing, Fabio? Yeah, I just boosted your That bag of, um, bag of water. That could be an ascidian. Ah, a little too close. Yeah, over in the cliff. Uh, so is this rock, do you think, or is this just sediment slowly depositing? Carbonate. Some carbonate in there, or yeah, old coral. Yeah. What are those little red dots, circles? Anemones. 
right? I think. I guess. Are they an enemy? An enemy. An enemy. An enemy. An enemy. Oh, there's some Macedians there. An enemy. One thing harder than saying an enemy is spelling. Oh, I saw a little crab. Or was it a lobster? Oh, there's something different. That's an Alotorian there. The one on the bottom? Oh, below the rockfish there. This with the tentacles there. Looks like a little coral, but this is there a respiratory tree, Frankie. What are those green circle things? That's a green sponge, blob. looks like. Green blob. Green blob. Oh, there's a. Oh, there's a nice sable fish in the coral. So we're almost at the ridge line. <coughs> Keep her in the center of the picture. I'm using it to uh, watch the tether and look for terrain coming up. In addition to my 20 sonars. This coral's going to see better days, I think. Well, there's there's a bunch of colonies on top of each other, it looks like. How's that? Good. Well, there might be some sediment. Left to the moment. Heading see there. something in back here? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm getting, I'm getting pictures of this. Yeah, this is something different. Oh even yeah, behind there's it. some stuff on that. Can we do a zoom in in here? Yeah. And maybe some amphipods or. Okay, Jacob, we can do the laser zoom now. Nice. Right, could cool. be some isopods. Oh, on it, yeah. Oh no, shrimps. Beautiful. Let's go park here and then uh, put a toe out. Be pandalopsis. This is a black coral too. Yeah. Okay, you can uh, push it a little tighter there if you want. Roger. What we call a polyp zone. Yeah, I think I see some shrimp or something in there as well. Aww. It's a really healthy looking one in behind it, but a different yeah. kind of coral. Yeah, there's some shrimp living in here. I think That's he got pretty. dumped with some sediments maybe, not, not doing so well. might be able to go a little bit tighter in Fabio if you'd like. Um, well, let's see a shrimp and then you can, gotcha. yeah, go in. Absolutely. If you do those uh, slow and do the zoom and the focus at the same time, you can... Yep. Uh, almost keep it in focus while you zoom in and out. It's not easy. Hmm. Slowly picking it up. Learn faster. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> can try some somewhere else. Keep uh, going. You want to move the camera, or you want to? No, let's keep moving. All right, there's zoom okay, out. You can slowly something zoom out different. Here, zoom it out. There's something back here too, a little white guy. Fabio. Nice. That's a nice speed for me. Thanks. Absolutely. Behind it, there's something. That looks different. Okay, you want any uh, other tight zooms here, Fabio? Are you happy to keep um, moving on? Or, oh, that's probably below, right? That, no, that's behind it. There's a w very white coral in behind it that looks different. That's you can only you can see it in the bumper. Oh, all right, you're you're seeing above. Yeah, you yeah. can see it in the bubble cam too. It's gonna be hard for. Her. I'll have to move. Oh, up high. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but you can get a good get a good still picture. Yeah, if you go in tight there. Wrong way. Can you zoom in there, Chicken? Yep, absolutely. We're looking at a little white coral way. Right in the, in the back there? there. Yeah, I see it. Ooh. Yeah, what's that one? It could be that Holoturian. Excuse me, black coral. We're trying to get to the other coral. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be hard to. Yeah, I can try to push We'll find another that's one. Alright with your ROV. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think it's the the branchia of the holoturian. That is as far in as I can go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Sweet. 
I got some pictures of it. Yeah, it's a sea cucumber. That's you what it is? Yeah, you can see here. Sea cucumber. Oh. Interesting. Oh well. Here. Not what you're looking for, huh? <laughs> we're looking for everything here. Uh -huh. Okay. Can yeah. Go, uh, wide. Get very good. Wide. Well, while we're here. Uh, here. We'll squatty. Where's the green blob? I'm going to do a quick shot on the green blob. Green blob. <laughs> Just yeah, a quick. Yeah. There you go, Fabio. Let me that's, zoom in there, see what That's what you're saying. Oh, okay, okay. Fabio says he's looking for everything, so. <laughs> well, these blobs look everything worse. Everything everywhere. <laughs> Is that a squad lobster? What's that thing? Uh, that looks like it's a, uh, yeah. Is that a, is a green blob a sponge? Yes. Okay, I'm go white. All right, pulling white. Uh, let's get moving, let's get moving. Right that. I'm keeping my two hours in, in, in mine here. That's what well, Megan gave me. Ship's moving the whole time, I think. Oh. No. You're moving, Lynette? Yeah, yeah, no, we're moving north. Yeah. What? Did you just hit <laughs> oh, that's around. interesting, hey? <laughs> Where the ROV bumped it, it's all white. Yeah. This is probably right. some ancient reefs. Thanks for that. Oh, look at that core. Yeah. It's also filled with sand. Works for me, yeah. It's a nice, some perfect offset from the cliff we have there. But if we can maintain that for unknown bathy, that would be great. <laughs> another group of scientists at uh, University of Oregon and Oregon State University we were studying the um, relationship between earthquakes and turbidity currents so it's something that often happens in canyons where you have see this is what we're just seeing right now I mean it might be the effect of the ROV but that you was see the sediment ROV Sorry. yeah sediment just gives away because of the steepness of the terrain and so suddenly you have a movement, a mass movement of sediments going down canyon. What are those guys called, Fabio? Those little tubes. Uh, those are sponges. I mean, I don't, there. They might be on our guide. Marines. So we're engineers outnumbering the scientists. We can make up any name we want there. Exactly. <laughs> Look at the, your favorite holotur in there. Now I can do a zoom in if you want. Yeah, yeah, go ahead on the uh, hagfish. Sorry, what do you want to zoom oh, in? Oh, the the white uh, holoturian, just to prove, uh, Dirk, that there was a uh, yeah, that was not the a coral. one on the far right. Far right, yeah. It's I believe not, you. It's not a coral, but really? I mean it could be nice mm -hmm. to get a zoom on there. Yeah, go ahead. Beats the video, the footage we got of it. There's a nice coral there. by it. Oh wow, that was a great pan. Looks good there. And there's another one stuck in. See we'll the go, body. Uh, go that's a little bit wider, me. See how it's you see their an an anus. <laughs> yeah, I see. That's can I say anus? So, I hope when so. you go wide, then I'll just. It's a part of the coral, so it's it helpful for the data loggers, right? It. All the poop, all the poop, all the turian poop over there. Those coiled people. Hearing a lot of laughing back in a live now mic can, somewhere. Now you can I know. Zoom in. That's probably coming so from the lounge. I put a toe out. Yeah. The lounge is a live mic. Hey, um, I just wanted to tell you that that's a sea cucumber in the family Solidy. <laughs> Solidy? Yeah. Fabio does that. Oh, Solis. Yeah, Solidy. Yeah. Megan, Megan, how come you're not up here? Because uh, it's not my watch. Where would I sit? Come sit next to me. <laughs> You can come sit next to You can to come me take too. some stills if you want. <laughs> fly the ROV and annotate at the same time. And that little anemone, yeah, that's probably pretty good of zoom. Okay, and keep going. Away. Thanks. You can see all the poop <laughs> in there. Oh, falling down below it. Yeah. Literal droppings. Okay, I gotta get going here. Atlanta's winning the race to the north. <laughs> it's 
pretty much those the, the two species of corals we see. Here. Very low diversity, probably because of the low oxygen. We are at the core of the oxygen minimum zone here. Do we have our CTD has oxygen sensor in it? We have one on the vehicle. Hot to read. Yes, CTD has oxygen. Yeah. So our observatory sensors show, like, in average, we're at uh, 0 0.2 milliliters per liter at this site, to 0 0.2 to 0 0.3. The onboard one is saying, yeah, 0 point. What, what would we two, see at Folger, eight, for zero. instance? Huh? What would we see for oxygen at, at Folger? Folger, well, probably four. Oh, well. Wait. Yeah, we are all way out of the on on Z uh, surface waters. Giant sponge. Oxygen readings currently are around pom -pom. zero point two three milliliter per liter. Yeah. Those crabs seem to hang out near the uh, yeah, they are. don't they? Roof clambers. They're using it for an ambush. Try a quick zoom there too. I'll do that. I haven't grossed myself out on a crab in a while. <laughs> How's that for you? Beautiful. Except for the pilot-induced dust storm. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that one. No. Wait. I'm not framing up. The, okay, here we go. I'm not framing Look up. All those little DSCs shrimp on there well. too, huh? You can go wide. Pulling a whole wide. wall is just shrimp. Can we look towards north and see how, I wonder if we are in a good spot to resume transecting. We're uh, boat length away from the uh, transect waypoint. It's just a temporary point that I put in there. Oh, I dropped I some breadcrumbs for us. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Can we um, make this, is this the high pack that we're looking at? That's the... Yeah. Can we... See, you want to see the ship? Is I want to see further north, towards the end of... Yeah. I'm gonna pause Change the extent. Hey, Thank you. Thanks, come, Lynette. Just come up yeah, a bit. Yeah, sure. It was funny watching Fabio trying to touch screen this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We have the telestrator here. Yeah, you can bring your head <laughs> around. Tell us we can do it. I'm trying to get out back ahead of you there. I, I lagged. <coughs> That's good. On the delta. I got I got to the south of you. I'm trying to get at least on par or to the north of you. So got time to stop and smell the flowers. I think you like to smell flowers, Dan. I do. Yeah. Preferably on a vertical rock cliff. This dusty stuff is <laughs> painful. You want to keep it moving, Dan, or you want to get over yeah, okay. no, Bridge moving. nav. We got a timeline so to turn our crab. Can we have two zero meters, three two five, please. I can always Thank turn you. and burn a bit if I get too far behind. Another nice patch of corals. I'll move, move just a little bit faster. Though. Oh, 
Are we, we're going to go uphill again, are we? Um, no, the idea now is to go along the ridge line all the way to the last waypoint. No idea where that is. <laughs> Lynette knows. Do you? What? Yeah, of course. No, I don't know. No, Lynette she does. Knows. She of does. Of course she knows. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's, she's navigating us. Look in the Argus view, or in the Atlanta view, you can see all the kind of corals occasionally pop up around her. Yeah, we use that Atlanta view all the time to uh, cheat, as it were. So if we're coming up somewhere, you can see a little white speck. And usually we're a lot closer because we don't have a 50 meter tether. So we can see a lot better. About 320 meters to go. North along the ridge line? North along the ridge line. Right. You think I'm above it or below it? No. That's where we call survey C. That's the your waypoint there? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so let's see. That's um corresponds to waypoint number three in your dive plan. The yeah, the end of it, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. That'll be sh the shallows we went, so it'll be nice to see. If there could be any changes in the fauna. As we go shallow, we go, we move away from the the core of the oxygen minimum zone. Oxygen levels start to rise again. You want me to run over the breadcrumb, do you? Oh, no, you don't have to. Yeah, it's just sort of a guide so we don't get totally off track, but I think we just want to follow the ridge wherever that goes. I think we officially started Transect 2 already <laughs> some time ago, but that's okay. You can You can start now. Roger, I'll try to maintain some semblance of transect. Sideways transect, of course, goes along the wall. Just a bit there. It's yeah, that heave was a pretty good tension spike. What's that? Oh, that that big wall we just took. Yeah. But tether's getting above Atalanta a little bit there, so we can come up a bit. Should be okay because we're moving, but. Those big heaves can wrap it around the 6 8 if we're too low. Mm -hmm. so the uh, current's not quite totally favorable for getting really close, but this long tether we can't anyway. So short tether we can, if it's bowing out in the current, we can get them right, you know, 10 meters away. Yeah, we got a blow on situation. Keep going north, or are we gonna walk around this way? Uh, north. Right. Yeah. So we're here. The end is up here. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. I see.
bridge now. Can we have three zero meters north, please? Thank you. I don't know how you do that in your head. When Rennie's sitting over there, he goes. <laughs> so Lynette's using the Atalanta sonar to try and maintain a distance off of the ridge, move the boat along it. Mm -hmm. I can't work it out in my head. I got to turn and look. It's a skilled navigator for you. Sometimes I wish it was north up in the display. We can. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Um, I've threatened for years that Mesotex have a uh, NMEA uh, compass input. So you input, there's a compass rose that yeah. turns. Oh, that'd be fancy. Wouldn't it be fancy? <laughs> you should put that on your wish list because yeah. if it's not on a list, it doesn't happen. But if you put it on a work list, it might. It might materialize. Yeah, we have we have the technology the for both, both the sonars. It would be really nice. So the compass rows rotates with the vehicle. And yeah. You don't got to do all the mental. Yeah. Gymnastics. To Videos on comms. Stand here now, so I have to have a bit more of a delta. Almost matching your heading. Yeah, if you can, it's nice to see a hint of the tether now and again, too. Yeah. So you can actually look down a little more and see what it's doing. Bridge nav. Can we have two zero meters north, please? If we get too close, it'll actually hockle there. So we'll have to deal with that. So. I'll try and stretch it out a little more. see that bend getting acute from the buoy yet. If we have a turn in, it'll come up and wink. Yeah. I gotcha. Check one. Check one. Yeah, Check it. Two, three, set one, set two, set three. Good. Recorder, 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 scope. Good.
everybody. Raining. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Renny. Hello. Back up a bit, Renny. Yep. All right, so the ship move just completed. We went north. This kind of curves around back. Yeah, it does. So. Danny, look up a bit, please. How are you as far as distance off the wall right now? Kind of. Kind of two and a half meters ish. Yeah, uh, sorry, I meant Atalanta to Herc. Uh, yeah, you can see it curving around in Atalanta there. Okay, so probably another m north should be okay. And you won't get pulled off. Right. Okay, do another step north. And 40 meters from it. So. Okay, watch. Bridge nav. Step four zero meters north. Thank you. You can come up just a bit, Danny, please. Up five. Two has doubled now since we've come up. From your deepest? Uh, wherever we were, we mm. came up. Uh, we were at. 820, now uh, 7. Yeah, looks like. I find myself in a box. Move the DSC to the porch for this time. Mm. Way better pictures. There. Nice coral down here. Yeah. These white ones are nice. Oh, Goldilocks zone right here. Yeah. Let's come down just a little bit. It's steeper there below me. Uh, 
I meant me, you can actually come up a bit. Come up and look down for us. It's getting much denser here. Top of the tether. Yeah. Is it an okay time to address some questions that are coming in? Sure. All right. So folks are asking uh, what we're doing on this dive, and this is a video transect. Uh, if you go to oceannetworks.ca and just use the search bar for cold water corals, right. yeah. Please stand here. you're going to get a, an article about researcher and residence Claudio Lo Lacono and cold water corals. I'll tell you a little bit more about the site we're at in Barclay Canyon and, and why this video transect is happening. And in a nutshell, we're looking at internal tidal whales. Good, thanks. And Part of this study is also to look at deoxygenation trends. So trying to figure out how cold water coral populations can adapt to oxygen depleted environments. And this transect, the video, it's a pretty neat uh, process. The video gets analyzed each frame, right? Yeah, we um, we take actually for quantitatively going through it, we actually subsample taking frame grabs from the video, so we can precisely quantify the animals and identify to the lowest possible taxonomical resolution. I'm gonna reset your TVL. All right. That's a beautiful sponge. I don't think I'd want to be the person having to figure out what type of rockfish they're looking at, since there's like 28 different kinds. Yeah, yeah, every time I guess I'm wrong. Like these guys, I would say vermilion, but I'm sure that's wrong. If you guess the genus, you're almost 90% out of the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to go a little faster with the ship? Everything's all kind of good right now, but don't want yeah. to, you know. No, it's been a good speed. Roger. Zooms, so we're technically in transect mode. Yeah, yeah Raj. I'm kind of going up and down a bit, obviously, to stay on the animals. So. We're trying to stay on this little steep bit here.
I clear to do just a slight, slight zoom. I got still have a yeah. little bit of the housing in yeah, the bottom I see, right. I see, yeah. yes, please. Well, I gotta wait till I can see it. There. Bring your head to the right a bit for me, Danny. Is there a plan for any sampling? Fabio. We'll, we'll see. At okay. The, at the end of our two hour limit on this cliffs. Let's see if we're left some time to I think that's one of those moon cheese sponges on the bottom. I can't remember yeah. what they're called. Yeah, the green blobs. Yeah. Yeah, we did a zoom on one earlier. Oh nice. There sure is a lot of Tina force here too. Yeah. Oh surprised to see a crab up on the slope. Yeah, Those we saw, do you see that ray? Or yeah. the skate? Skate, yeah. yeah. Uh, Seems like a precarious little hanging. Like a goat. Yeah. Seen uh, speaking crabs of those kind of, I don't know. Thing. And speaking of rays and skates, I think a good way to tell the difference is their tail. Hmm. So short tails tend to be skates. Whip-like things tend to be rays. Patrick all by himself. Got another one of Lynette's breadcrumbs up there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it seems like the contour is just kind of playing out as you as you go. Those are like more suggestions, I think. Yeah. Although at the end.